Ah, thanks for getting here with me today, YouTube. It's Sunday, which actually it looks like it's going to be a pretty beautiful day here. So, I'm enthused about that. So anyway, let me get down to the news. Yesterday I get on Facebook, and I, I, and you know what? I totally forget who the person who started that was, and I'm sorry. I really am, and I should know. But they had like an open uh, chat thing, and I think it was called what was it? Girls, Girls Night Out or something like that. Anyway, she did this like a month or two ago where she kind of had me as the guest on there and had that open, and I was on there talking last night concerning the uh, Delphi murders. I swear this to you. Solemnly swear it. I was, I was asked the identical questions that I was like a year ago. Repeatedly. The same thing. Over and over and over and over and over again. I said, for what it matters, I have said, they weren't catfished, man. Nobody knew that the girls was going to be there two hours in advance. Not the family. Not drug dealers. No one. No. There are two eyewitnesses that seen the guy. If it was family or anything like that, or if it was Mark Redwine or anybody whose face has been in the news, they would know. They don't. So please, people, man, get over the catfishing thing. Get over the drug dealing. Get over uh, somebody out to get Derek, man, because of your know, bad drug deal. Uh, so they set out to kill his family. They're like, no, man, that is complete and other shit. Nobody did that. Crime the convenience. The guy was there waiting for someone to show up that fit his image of what he wanted. When two girls showed up that had no supervision, he took that upon himself to, there's my target. And you know what? God should be with those girls because it, that was bad. The guy is a monster. And that is how it lies. He is a monster. Now, I say probably homeless at the time. I'm not saying that he was homeless, but I think that there are some things that indicate that he may have camped. You know, his clothes and such. And, and I know Gray, man, he's all like, oh, it's only 40 degrees, man, and it's cold as shit to an adult. No, it wasn't. It was actually a freakishly warm day. That's why they decided to go out there. Too many theories, man. There are too many theories. Way too many. And when people bring me the same exact theories of a year ago, like I've never said one thing and then ask me again, wanting a different answer, ain't going to happen. It is what it is. There's evidence here. There is evidence. And with that evidence, if everything fits, it may be true. If it does not fit the evidence as we know it, it is likely a theory. That is like hogwash. Remember that. And if you have a question, look at the facts. Look at the facts of the case. Man, a bunch of hummingbirds out today. Have you ever noticed you never see a flock of hummingbirds? Kind of a little odd. Hmm. So, man, I need a cigarette bad. I really do. I hope that you will forgive me, YouTube. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out a vape, doing his best to hit it, man, like, like a man would. You know what? Yeah, I didn't even get a hit off that. I didn't. Yeah, it's broke. It said go screw yourself. That's what it did. So, anyways. You know what, man? Just on the vape. Look, man. I think, I don't even know who started this crap. It's probably millennials or something like that. 
But they thought, you know what we need is a way to take nicotine in that don't have smoke. If, 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 if we have that, then we can do it anyway. You see? Well, the beautiful thing about the vape is if this right here has a lot of nicotine in it, and you got one that will really throw a hit out, man. You can take one big hit and just get nicotine for the... You just, wow. You're like, oh, shit, man. This is why I started smoking to begin with. And I'm really nicotined. You know what I mean? Beautiful thing, man. Except everybody gets on them and then they lower the nicotine. And then one day they're just smoking some fruity vape shit. That's horrible to me. Don't do that. Please don't ever be that person. That bothers the soul of a Sagittarius like me. I hurt. I hurt in the sun. So, alright man, let, let, let me get right back to where I was at. Green Oak will be here in two days. Uh, late uh, Tuesday night, he said. So then we can begin. Again, we have the new computer. We have full editing. Anything that we want to do, editing, man. Audio, video, everything. Green screen, indoor, outdoor, the whole bloody nine we can do now. So now we can set up a live show. Now what I want to do, and I think it should be one of the first things on my agenda, is to set up a live show on the uh, Delphi Murders. I think that me and Greeno need to connect, man, talk things back through, get, you know, uh, make sure that we're both on the same wavelength because it's been some months now. But I don't think that anything has occurred within the crime that would change anything. Uh, the only thing that I see that has changed is maybe the possibility of CC Moore actually taking this on. That would be fantastic. I mean... Look, man, I can point right up the road, man, up here at Fort Wayne and say they nailed that guy. 30 years. Took him 30 years. I don't think she was on that but a minute, man, but she narrowed it down to a family. Bam. That monster was hit. We need the identical over here. That guy was a miller. I'm going to say that the odds are very strong that he's not a smith. Okay? They could probably find this guy a lot quicker than a miller. I, I could totally have that in reverse. I really could, man. <laughs> it just seems like the uh, more common the name is, then the more people that have sent that in, the easier it could be to trace. If you only got one or two people that have sent a, uh, in from a name, it would probably be a little harder to track down that name. And it seems like, well, there's only two. But the thing is, is are they related over here to this one via a bloodline? You see where I'm at? And I really should know that a little more. I studied genetics for quite a while. Um, I, I got into it for other reasons. It wasn't uh, ancestral. It was more like breeding genetics, like uh, Mendelian quantitative stuff like that. But, I, you know, I, I just think that this right here might be a method to nail the guy. Because when all else fails, where do you go? So you see more. So when Greeno gets back, and when we can hook up a live show, what I want to do is have this live show because then we can predate that, let you know when it's going to be. Now, if we have that on the Delphi murder, then you can call right in. We'll have the phone. Bam. Give us a call. You give us a call. Pow. We can go straight to you live. WKAT. You will be on the air with us. You can also chat the questions and we will sit there and have a live response to everyone. And that's the beauty of a live program. I mean, it really means quite a bit to me. On my other one, I had Windows uh, 7. It would not run it. Um, or at least I could not get it to. It said I needed Chrome. But when I used Chrome, it would say, oh, you need to download Chrome. I thought, well, that's funny. I'm using Chrome that I already downloaded, you asshole. Yeah, somebody needs to make sense with Windows. Somebody needs to make that shit real. I think it's just a way to take money. But, you know, I'm a little cynical when it comes to government and, like, slavery and shit. I'm not, like, on their side. So we will have a live show about the Delphi case. Also, um, I, I think, and I certainly can't 
totally say, but I think that we would like to also do some on other cases as well, as it fits into uh, Indiana. Maybe just Indiana, but I mean, it could go a lot more than that. As an example, um, Jason Dale Bolton. You know, uh, his sister said he was murdered. And, you know, I looked at it. I, I, I'm not given a side or anything that I'm standing on at this time because I think there's some things that we're not looking at yet. But I would like to have her on the show and have people phone in because then it would really open up some dialogue where people could like get their questions in and go on go you're screwing up my video man yeah so anyway you know we'd also like to do that as well right now i'm just kind of waiting for greeno to get back again man we got like the editing you know we have the cloud now uh, the Creative Cloud by Adobe. <clears throat> so we got Photoshop, we got Audition, uh, we have, um, oh man, what the fuck is that one, Dreamweaver or something? The video editing? Anyway, we have all of that, plus Cyberlinks, you know, we have the whole dynamic. Nothing we really can't do. You know, we just need to uh, get the story, get, the, get it filmed, and then edit it. Bam! And it's coming to you live. You know what? He got shorts yesterday. I think that it was yesterday. I got a picture of one. This black shirt says WKAT and the really cool letters, you know. I love that, man. I love that. And I will wear that. I'll be like, WKAT. We're at it again. Man, okay. Why is the dog barking? Do people not care I'm making a video? Ah, damn, dog. You know what? There are no treats for that puppy today. None. Okay, anywho. I will see you in my next video, which will probably be in a day or two. Until then, I want everybody to have a fantastic Sunday. Peace.